Greetings, and in this video we're going to create a really simple Laravel application that will work and open AI API. So let's begin as the first step, it will be create a new Laravel application. So let's type here composer, create a project, and you can use Laravel CLI if you want to create a new project, but I prefer to use composer command to do that. So I will type here uh, that I want to create a new project with Laravel framework, and I will name my project maybe Laravel open AI. So let's create a new project and let's wait until everything will be generated. And also I want to say that in this tutorial, we're going to use Inertia.js in front end part of the application. And also before we gonna start building application, I want to show you um, open AI platform. So you will need to register here your account. You can do this with Google or you can just, you know, register your account with email. And after that, uh, when you will register your account, you will need to go to personal. So as you can see here, you ha have your avatar and information about your account and you will need to click VF API keys. And here you will need to click on create a new secret key. And this is key that I will use in this tutorial. So I will copy this and after I will finish record of this tutorial, I will delete this key. So yeah, now let's open our terminal and let's open our project in Visual Studio Code and we will download everything that we need uh, for this tutorial for Inertia.js I mean and yeah I'll say forget to open my project in terminal so I will type Laravel OpenAI and after that I will type code the dot. So my project successfully opened it in Visual Studio Code and let me now show you everything that we will need to install for Inertia.js. So to use OpenAI API, we can use two solutions. So for example, we can use OpenAI PHP client that I will show you here. So as you can see, this is GitHub official page, OpenAI PHP client, and we will try to use this client. I already worked with this client and there is nothing hard. So for example, as you can see, you will need to import your client and you will need to get your API key. After that, you will able to make request by this way. So for example, here we type that we want to use DaVinci model. We can use Curry or add a model or other models that are available in OpenAI API. And after that, we typing our prompt. And after that, we will get result from the OpenAI model. So let's install this client. Let's open Visual Studio Code and let's type here this command. So composer require OpenAI PHP client. And yeah, this, yeah, so this installed successfully. So that means that now we can create a here a new controller. So let's type here um, PHP artisan make controller that will be named, for example, I didn't know OpenAI, no, it's bad name. So maybe let's type here um, AI controller. Okay, and yes, this controller created successfully. So, th so that means that we can now open this controller and let's go back to GitHub page of the OpenAI client. As you can see here, we don't have any instructions how we can um, import this client. So I think that we can use the next solution for this. So let's copy the name of the class and let's go here and we can just type here use so backslash, so use backslash open AI and that this will find automatically open AI clients that we installed with composite dependency. Here let's type index and now let's copy example from the GitHub page. So we will copy this example. Okay, and let's paste it. And here let's type our API key that I am using in this lesson. So as you as I said, you can create a new API key on official website in on platform.openai.com and on the VF API keys page. Okay, so let's format this code and I will use your text DaVinci model and let's try to make this prompt, maybe not PHP. So let's type here, for example, Bitcoin is and yeah, I think that's all. And now let's go to roads web.php file. Let's import our AI controller. So let's type here app http app http controllers AI controller. And let's type that we want to call 
index function when we go to home page and now let's type here php artisan serve okay let's copy this and now let's open our browser now we can go here and type this page and let's see what we will get yeah also we will need to wait some time because uh, when we making requests to open ai we need to wait because uh, model to need process process our request but i think that we will get error because we just tried to import our OpenAI class with black slash, but I think that will that this will not work. So we can get back to Visual Studio Code and we can just first let's try to remove this and let's try to use black slash here. Maybe maybe that will there will be no any difference. And as you can see, our request working. So uh, the first system of cryptocurrency uh, is the first to use blockchain technology. Yes, so we get re a response from text da Vinci model for our question Bitcoin is. So let's try another question. Maybe we can type Ethereum is. Yes, yeah, so what is Ethereum? Now, now let's refresh it and we will send request by this way to open AI API and as you can see we get answer to our question. So this is second highest cryptocurrency after the Bitcoin in terms of market capitalization. Yeah, also we can configure that we want to get uh, all response or we can just get some short response by default as we see here. Okay, so now it's time to install everything that we need for InertiaJS so I will maybe, yeah, I will create here a new terminal and first I will install all dependencies that I need for the server side and after that I will install all dependencies that I need for the client side and also in this tutorial I'm going to use VGS and we will work with our API of the application um, but maybe yeah we don't need to use API create to create an API for this application because inertia.js can work with our roads without axios or any other uh, functions that the libraries that are used to make API requests on the client side so let's install all dependencies that we need so first we will need to install inertia.js composer dependency and to do that we will type here composer require inertia.js inertia laravel and now let's hit enter let's wait until this dependency will be installed and after that uh, we, we go to kernel.php file and we will need also to generate middleware for our inertia.js and as you can see i copy this from the official documentation of inertia.js so you can use this uh, to copy all these commands and dependencies that we will need to install Install. And after that, I type HP Artisan Inertia Middleware. So middleware successfully generated. So that means that I can now add this middleware in web groups in kernel.php. So let's go here, let's save it and let's go here and let's copy these files that we will use for the uh, root root blade templates. So let's open here resources views folder and let's rename this to app app dot blade.php and let's pass this code code and also we can include here a code from the css folder from the app.css and also in this tutorial i'm going to use vidjs to compile all this code and um yeah also we will use here vue.js white.js plugin so let me first let me get this plugin on the official npm website so let me show you this so as you can see we have here vgs plugin view and we will need to install this but before we're gonna do this let's go to client side installation on the official documentation of the inertia js and here we will copy um, all npm commands and also code for the app.js file so first let's go here and yeah we will need to install this dependency by using npm so let's type here inertia view 3 view and also name of the vjs view plugin so let me paste this package so vjs plugin view okay great let's also uh, yeah okay <laughs> now let's hit enter and let's wait until uh, installation will be finished but before we gonna 
get back to Visual Studio Code. Let's copy these codes uh, to initialize the Inertia app. And now let's open resources JS and app.js and let's pass this code. Let's save it. And also we don't need to use bootstrap.js file. So we will delete this file. And here we will need to create a new folder that will be named pages uh, folder. And as you can see here, we have resolve function and this function is used to get components, Vue.js components that will be saved in pages folder. And here we can create say, our first component that will be named index.view. And let's type here template script setup. And here just we can just for now let's type hello world. Yeah. So hello world. Okay. And now let's go to vidconfig.js and we will now to we will need to import here a plugin that we installed for VGS for view. So we type here import view for VGS plugin view and here where we have plugins object we will need to type uh, that we want to call view function. And I think that's all. Maybe I'm talking so fast, but uh, if I talk very fast, you can just uh, make a change speed of this video and maybe it will be better for you. Okay, so now let's go to index.view, but no, not index.view. Let's go to AI controller. And here I want to grab all this code and create a new function that will be named process. Maybe not process, it's better to say uh, make request. And let's pass this code code here and it will return uh, response. And here we will render in index function, we will render components that we created and inside pages folder named index.view. Uh, and also let's import here inertia class that we will use to render this component. So let's type here uh, render and we will need just to type uh, name of the components that we want to render and in our case this is index.view that we successfully created okay and now let's open browser to check that everything works so let's refresh it and as you can see we have one error white manifest not found that means that i forget to run a command npm run dev so let's type here here npm run dev and we just will compile our JS code and view code. So let's refresh it. And as you can see, now we have hello world. And that means that if I now open my Vue.js plugin, I will see that I have index components. So that's really great. And um, that means that now we can make our example. So let's close app.blade file and also app.js file. Let's go to index.u and here I will need to, uh, to import use form function uh, from the uh, view inertia, inertia view three, I mean, and here let's type form equals use form. And let me define, uh, let me tell you what this function do. By using this function, you can create uh, a new form in inertia GS uh, in some components. For example, in our case, we creating a new form that we will use to send data to our AI controller and here I can define fields that will be inside this form and we will have only one field that will name prompt and it will be empty by default. And here let's create a new form and maybe we can just, we can now type, change this, this title and let's type here your prompt, your prompt. Okay, and here we will need to define submit events of so submit prevent and when we will submit this form we want to make request uh, post request to route as it will be named uh, AI request so AI requests or maybe it's ugly name maybe it's better to say just AI so we will need to create this post uh, route inside web.php file and it will be named AI and when we will call this request, our AI controller will call functions that we already created. And this is make request function. Okay, let's get back to AI controller because here I need to create a request variable to get data from the form. And here we will uh, type our prompt. So we will just type here uh, request prompt. And in this tutorial, I don't make any validation. We may just build a simple app this, that works with OpenAI. And now let's get back to index.view. And here let's create a, a new input field uh, with type text. And let's define model of this 
um, of this V model of this field and it will be a uh, form prompt and just to test that this pro this V model works we will, we're going to render here uh, form dot prompt so we will get and render this uh, field so let's try to enter here and as you can see our prompt is changed it prompt field is changed so that's great so let's get back again here and let's create a here now submit button that will, will that will make request to our ai controller and after that when we will get some request uh, we are going to get uh, we are going to show this answer so we can now type submit of the type of the button submit and we can just type here send request and maybe some people have questioned whoa how we can uh, get uh, answer from the form and i think that will be not a problem but for now let's try this example so we prepared everything that we need to test this form so let's refresh it and now let's make a question to ask question to our text davinci model and maybe it will be what is Cambodia? Okay, and let's click send request. And as you can see, we have progress bar. <laughs> let's wait uh, when request will be processed. Maybe we will get some error um, or maybe everything will be fine. So let's wait until we will get a response from the open AI API. And yeah, it's, it can take some time. So let's wait. Okay, so I wait uh, some time, some seconds, and I don't get response. So that means that we will need to go to our AI controller. Here, let's change this to DDD. So DDD choices uh, text. Uh, let's save it and also let's check our uh, storage logs and let's see that maybe we have some errors here. So let's see white manifest not found, uh, white manifest and stuff. So yes, it's all all errors. Let's uh, clear our, our log and let's refresh this page again. Oh, maybe it will not, will not refreshed. So we can go here. Yeah, I think that we have really big problems with our application because it's trying to make this request maybe in the ground, but um, we can try to restart our server of the application. So I will try to type here PHP Artisan server again. And as you can see, okay, now we have everything that we need. So let's try to make request again. So what is Cambodia? Let's check that OpenAI API know about, about this country. So let's click send request and let's wait. And as you can see, we get response from the OpenAI in debug, but we get this uh, response. And if you want, we can also save this information to our database. We can uh, save all our conversations with OpenAI model. But what we have in this, um, response so we have that uh our model thinks that we ask question about what is language of the cambodia and many people know that the official language and national language of the Cambodia. this is khmer language and here we get uh answered for our question so let's refresh it and now let's try to make another let's try to ask another question and maybe it will be it will be better to ask maybe uh, where is Thailand? Yes, so where is Thailand? So send request and let's wait until... Okay, so as you can see, now we get also response successfully and we see our answer answer from the model is Thailand is in Southern Asia, located in the region known as... And as I said, here we can configure that we want to get a full response and to do that we can we will need to go to AI controller and here we will uh, type max tokens and for example 20 and let's try again or let's try to ask again some questions so maybe what is moon so what is moon send request and as you can see now we get um yeah, moon is earth. Okay, so as, as as you can see, everything works fine. So if you want to uh, define that we want to get a bigger response from the model, you can use max tokens pro or option uh, inside client. And you know, that's all for this lesson. It was really simple, a really simple application without any design. So thanks for watching and soon I'm gonna make more videos about artificial intelligence and Laravel. So thanks for watching.